If you got 95, five is a little more to come to make 100. But I allowed the five to give you the grace to understand that no matter what comes, you can keep on trying till you get to 100. See, if I give you 100 now, you're going to mess it up and so it may happen. But I'm going to give you something to keep working for. If I give you my grace, you're going to keep on fighting. Even when the enemy keeps throwing stuff at you, you're going to fight until you get to your 100. Somebody needs to start fighting again to get to your 100. You are already at 95, baby. This ain't no time to stop now. This ain't no time to throw in the towel. Shake your neighbor's hand and tell them, I'm going for my 100, honey. Hallelujah. I'm going for my 100. And that's when, like God did Jabez, he will enlarge your territory. You will start to go places and do things that you never thought you could do. That's when they really gonna start talking. And you better be careful, because I hear God say, the very ones that rejected you and said you wasn't gonna make it when you went up, are gonna be the ones that's wanting to hang around you and steal your anointing while you're going up. Hallelujah. You can't take nobody's anointing, I tell you. It has to be given by God. And a lot of y'all hear God saying, a lot of y'all got baggage that you need to let go. A lot of y'all got folks that's pulling on your coattail that just wants to get what you got in God. Mm. But if they're not willing to know that they know that they know that God can bring them out of any situation, it ain't gonna happen, baby. A thousand are gonna fall at your side. 10,000 are gonna fall because they're trying to steal an anointing that they can't have. Mm. All I'm saying to you this morning is whatever you do, you got to know that you know, that you know, yes. that your Redeemer lives, and he shall stand. Yes, yes. Having done all to stand. Yes. yes. Find that if you can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Having done all to stand. Yeah. Did you hear me, Marvin? If you can find that, put it on. All right. Don't have it? Well, you can sing it. Having yes. done all to stand. Hallelujah. Stand there for. That's right. See, folk that don't know can't stand. That's right. They're the ones that you say, will you stand with me? Now, yes! When trouble comes, you look around and you can't stand. Well, what did Jesus tell Peter? He said, go tell the disciples and Peter. Come on back. I'm still standing. Somebody shake three people's hands and tell them, I know that 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 my redeemer lives. You gotta know. You can't sleep on him and know. You gotta know. If you ain't in this world, you don't know nothing. You're living on false dreams and hopes. No word. No word. No power. No word. No power. No word. No power. Much word. Much power. Much power. Stand on your feet all over this place. I hear God saying the reason why some of you all are getting blessed the way that you are is because now you know. See, the reason why the blessing didn't come when you thought it was coming because you didn't know what you thought you knew. But now that you know that you know that you know enough to trust God no matter what happens, you are this close to the door opening of your blessing. Yes. Some of y'all gonna walk in Christ institutions, brand new people yes. with light covering you. Yes. People gonna walk, watch my word, I hear the Lord say. People are gonna walk up to you and say, you got a glow this morning. And it ain't gonna be them. It's gonna be the presence of God all over you getting ready to take you to higher heights and deeper depths. And watch when they hug you. It's going to be tighter this time. Because they're going to try to rub off some of which. <laughs> Put your hands together and give God praise. Know that you know. Sister Jessica, even by my own admission, 
Nobody in your family, in this church, nobody knows how much you've suffered through. They think they know. And I hear the Lord saying, you could tell them 10 times every day and they would never understand what you've been through. They will never understand the closed doors and the tears and the pillows that have gotten wet because of your tears. But I want you to understand this morning, God said when you get into this, and I'm saying it like I'm hearing, God said he didn't have you to go through what you went through for nothing. There's preacher in you, girl. The reason why, put your hands in the air, in total submission, put them up, both of them. There is preacher in you. There are things that come out of your right mouth right now that you say, and sometimes you say, did I say that? And they have to do with God. And you're thinking to myself, I didn't know I knew that. God's getting ready to place people around you that's going to allow you to take you to a depth in him that you never thought you could get to. I hear in my spirit there's a new sense of self-esteem coming that you already thought you was a little bad. But when you get in God, baby, they're going to know how bad you are. Why? Because you're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's you and God and how God is taking you to the next level. Be careful of those who the devil would send with situations to cause you to try to go back down to what you used to be. You ain't there no more, baby. I hear God saying, pack your bags because what you used to be, you just left behind. Hallelujah. I even feel a peace coming in your home. There's a peace coming in your home. Those who would talk to you in the home, their voices are now being sweetened by God. Because God is allowing a veil to come off of their faces to see you in a brand new light. I hear God saying there's a new love coming in the form of a matron. Matronness, motherness, mothering. There's a newness coming in you. And I hear God saying that I am also going to be a part of your mother. For I am your mother. I am your father. I am everything you could want me to be. I hear God saying, talk to me more. And I hear God saying, change your language. For from now on, when you open your mouth, you will hear from me before you speak it. And if it is not right, it will come back to me and it will come back to you. God is saying you have the mouth of a preacher, which is why you so loud. Hallelujah. God said he's sending you to nations. He's getting ready to wrap you up in people and things that you thought you weren't good enough to be around. God is getting ready to snatch off the old and put on the new. And God said there is no coincidence that the narrative of Jessica is Jesus. Put your hands together and give it. Hallelujah. We are all here, saved, healed, delivered, and set free. But if there's one this morning who you thought, I hear God saying, you thought you knew, today is the day, in this time of authority, that it's time for you to get it straight. Hearses are rolling every day. People are dying that you don't expect to leave here. God said, you better get it right now. Because this is the year that you're going to need your authority against the devil. And if you don't have it, he's going to swallow you up in the earth. God said, get it right now. I hear God saying, and listen, you know what, right this second, God said, rebuke them openly. I am rebuking the spirit of cell phones in this house. Do you know what demonic spirits you are calling up when you do that? It's a distraction. And if you are distracted by something that's going to keep you from getting killed out there, you just blew it. Stop allowing the devil to come into church with you. Leave them out there. And start coming in and giving God all the praise. If nobody else loves you, God loves you. But he wants you to know if you don't know, you ain't gonna make it. Is there another?
Amen. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask this to Tam to come and pray for these words. Before she starts, repeat after me. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And I am saved. God, truly today, truly today, not just out my mouth, but out my heart. I'm really and truly sorry for all the things that I've done wrong. I'm sorry for the things I'm still doing wrong. And I'm sorry for the things that the devil will tempt me to do later. But right now, I say that I know, that I know, that I know that you will change me in Jesus' name. Best day I 